what is going on ravens flock welcome back to another video on this youtube channel flocking ravens yeah! where we will talk about anything and everything that has to do with ravens before we start off this video though i just want to ask you guys to please subscribe like and leave a comment on this video it's going to really help out my channel to grow so if you guys can do that for me i would really appreciate that very much and big shout out to everyone who liked and subscribed on the last video and left a comment. Big shout out to you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, all that support. I mean, it means a lot. So thank you guys so much. Um, so we're going to talk today about the recent news that came out about Patrick Queen. So if you haven't heard about it yet, they said that the Ravens are not going to pick up Patrick Queen's fifth year option. My reaction to that is like 50-50. It's good. I'm happy about it. But at the same time, I'm not. So I think to give a, a full reaction on this, you got to go back to the beginning, right? When we first drafted Patrick Queen, I was so hyped. I was so hyped. Like for me, it was all out of this world, right? I'm like, Super excited, especially when you watch his college highlights and you see what he did in college. You're just like, wow, we we did we, we, we got a solid pick. Right. Then later on, you start hearing more of these. Um, I don't want to say rumors, but you start hearing that um, Patrick Queen has has been talking with like Ray Lewis um, and other vets, you know, from the Ravens. And, you know, you. you you start to think like, oh my God, this guy's going to practice. He's going to um, get mentored mentored by, um, you know, Ray Lewis and all these vets, right? Um, so that season, going into that season, I remember I was telling everybody, like everybody I knew that was a Ravens fan or not, I was like, yo, watch out for this kid, Patrick Queen. He's going to kill it. He's going to kill it. Like, I think I overshot my expectations because when the season started, he had some really good plays, but I think my expectation was so high that I was so disappointed at the end because I just thought we would get more out of him than what we saw. Right. So, once we started seeing like he wasn't what I thought he was going to be, I was like, maybe we made the wrong decision and this and that. And it wasn't even last uh, season. Um, when the season started, he had a lot of opportunities to intercept. Right. That was the main thing because they were getting boss thrown his way, like as if he was a wide receiver for the other teams, you know, team or whatever. Right. I mean, the amount of balls that he dropped was just ridiculous, man. I was getting first. I was, I was giving some passes. I was like, ah, oh, let let him, let him warm up, let him, let the season you know continue a little bit more, and we're gonna see the improvement. But after a while, when it happens, sometimes even like I think twice in one game, like you you run out of passes you got to start holding this guy accountable for all those drops, right? Because they're easy picks, man. Like I'm talking about like they were right here and his hands were just like an inch away from it where it was supposed to be placed, right? So then they started with the whole um, he needs to practice more on the, on the jog wheel or whatever, right? So that was kind of like a joke that they started, but I think, they took it serious and then they actually had him practicing his catches right and the very next uh game if you guys remember like he finally got a pick and he he caught it so i'm like okay we're seeing some improvements right we're seeing we're seeing some improvements so then i started getting hyped about it. i was like, okay i mean you could see he's improving and he's clearly he's listening to um all the stuff that's being talked about him, not just um, inside of the Raven circle, but even like outside noise. You you hear it from other teams, other um, critics, whatever. 
you started to hear it about Patrick Queen, right? So he he heard all that and he went back into the lab and started working, right? So once the Ravens made that trade for Roquan Smith, yo, we saw a whole nother player. Like, we saw a whole nother player. I don't know what, like, if they had a, a conversation or maybe the energy Roquan. I don't know what happened, but we just saw Patrick Queen explode. Like, he went off. He went off. He went off. I was, like, I think I was more excited to see Roquan, uh, not Roquan, sorry, Patrick Queen play than I was for Roquan because... Then you finally started to see what I was hoping to see when we first drafted him. You know, we got a little glimpse of that. So he has that potential. And I think it's just these little pieces that we're missing. Um, it's it, it sparks, you know, him wanting to to improve his craft and, you know, I don't know. It, it just, it, it was like a, a match made in heaven, like they say, right? Um, so I think that that was a very good um, trade for the Ravens because obviously you get a Roquan Smith, but Roquan Smith brings out that Patrick Queen that you drafted, that you wanted when you draft, right? Because I'm not going to repeat it again, but a whole nother player when Roquan Smith joins the team, right? So with this pick, I mean, with this um, decision not to pick up their um, his fifth-year option, the reason why I'm 50-50 about that is because I really think because of how hard the Ravens go on defense, I have a strong feeling that they're going to extend Patrick Queen. Because when we're talking about offense, we're like, oh, this such player is, whoever it is, they're gone. They're out of here, right? Because Ravens are not known for going all in for offense, right? The offense side of the team, right? But for the defense, they do a lot of crazy stuff, like a lot of crazy moves, right? So, I strongly feel that the Ravens will, at one point, extend um, Patrick Queen. So, if they do that, I mean, seeing Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith play together, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's like, it's very nice to see, man. It's like... I don't know. I don't know. Like, I really enjoy watching the defense play when you have those those guys out there on the field. And the energy they bring, like, after they get a sack, or even if they help um, make a... Like, even if they don't get the sack themselves, but they, like, I think they call it, like, an assisted help or something like that. When they help, even like that, the, like, the energy that, that comes out of them, it's just different, man. It's very different. And... I think um, it does bring momentum. It brings more energy into the defense. And it's something that if we're able to keep both, I think that this team is pretty, man, it's pretty much complete, like offense and defense. Obviously, we have like some little things, but that the linebacker position, man, like it, it, it's looking good, man. I know everything else, cornerback, all of that. We we still gotta figure some things out there. But if we if we can keep both, uh, I like the direction the Ravens will be going. So I only think there's gonna be two options. I don't think that they. I do not think at all that the Ravens are gonna let him just play out this year, and then he becomes a free agent. I don't think so. And if they do. I don't feel good about that decision because if you extend them, you have a solid defense with what you already have and you keep him too. I think we have a pretty solid defense. 
But if you're not planning to extend him, I think you should trade him. I don't want him traded, but if you're not planning to extend him, trade him. Because last season, I mean, his stock didn't go completely like out of this out of this world, right? It didn't go up that high. But I feel like he had a very solid season that I think a team would be willing to give up a good amount. Not only that, but um, you got to remember, like, EDC, he is... Like we we love to see him negotiate negotiating with um other teams because we always get the better side, the better slice, right? Of the of a trade. You know, um look at the Hollywood trade, right? We we totally got the better side of that. So we love to see that because I could only imagine what we would get out of, like we, we would probably get a good player in exchange for Patrick Queen. And I could see EDC like, oh, and throw in some picks or throw in, I don't know, another special team player with what we want, you know? So I feel like EDC could cook a lot with the Patrick Queen if he was to trade, you know? Now it's more... Like he has more to work with. Like imagine having to trade uh James Prochet. I don't think um EDC has too much to work with, right? I feel like he will just take what whatever they're willing to give him. But with a Patrick Queen, I feel like last season helped him. He did enough for EDC to be able to work something good out for the Ravens. Right? And you know, Patrick Queen, I mean, he's a really good player. So wherever he goes, whether it's with the Ravens or whatever, I feel like he's going to ball out. He's going to have just a, an amazing career. To be honest with you, an amazing career. Um, I think playing with Roquan Smith, you know, obviously not a full season, but the little time that he played with him, I feel like he was able to to um, break out of his shell, you know, like step up his game a little bit more. So wherever he goes, he's only going to get better. If he, if he gets traded, which I hope he doesn't, but if he gets traded, he's only going to get better, you know, because you're, you're bringing in that knowledge that you already learned from, from this team onto the next, and then whatever you're going to learn over there too, you're only going to get better, man. So if we trade um, a Patrick Queen, I feel like we would, we would get the better um, slice of the, of the trade. And that's something good about EDC. Now, we love to see that with EDC when it comes to doing that to other teams, right? But when he has to negotiate a contract like with the Lamar Jackson, he tries to do the same thing and we're not on board on that because that's one of that's um that's one of our guys, man. Like, you know, you we want we want you to pay him, right? But if you're gonna trade and you're going to try to finesse someone, it better be another team. Don't finesse your own players. You know, if you're going to extend a Patrick Queen, pay him. If you're going to, like, negotiate with a Lamar Jackson, Marlon Humphrey, like that, don't do that. Don't do that to them. Do it to a Cardinals. Um, do it to the Bills. You know, you're going to do it to the Buccaneers. But do not do it to our own players. Okay, and I think a lot of us could be on board on that, right? Um, cause, yeah, I mean, obviously we we don't want him to do that to our own players, but it's it's good when when we see it happening in front of our faces when he does it to other teams and they just agree to it, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, so Patrick Queen, it'll be a sad thing to see him go, but if we see him go. I, it's going to be traded. And if he gets traded, we know we're going to get something really good in between. There is a lot of talk of people um, saying maybe a Mike Evans with Buccaneers could be a good trade partner. Um, 
Patrick Queen on our side, and we get a Mike Evans. Um, I honestly feel like um, if we trade a Patrick Queen, I don't think um, EDC is going to do it for a wide receiver. If we end up trading him, I feel like he's going to want to um, do something with defense. Like he might get a cornerback or something like that. Um, but he, I don't see him trading a Patrick Queen to get, you know, a piece on the off offense. If that makes any sense. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think. If a trade was to go down, I'm very curious to know. Like, let's say that, that like, it's already reported. The, um, the Ravens are trading Patrick Queen. Let me know what team you guys think he would be traded with. And what we get in return. I'm very curious to, to know that. I hope it doesn't happen because, I mean, my girl loves. Look, I, I got. So this jersey, I got it for my girl. So the moment uh, he got drafted, um, she wanted a, a, a Ravens jersey for a while. And um, I guess she didn't know like what player to get. So I actually just surprised her because, um, you know, she saw Queen and all of that. So I just surprised her with a jersey, and she was very, very, very happy with it. So because she has the jersey, I, I think she has um, a bigger attachment to Patrick Queen. So I'm sure, like, my girl and many other girlfriends, wives out there that are Ravens fans, I'm sure they don't want to see Queen go because... A lot of them probably have, you know, Patrick Queen's jersey. So it's going to be a very sad thing to see him go. Um, but again, if he goes, I know we're going to be getting something really good in return. Like EDC, when it comes to that, I think he's really, really good. So this that's why for me, it's a 50-50. Like I, I like it, but at the same time, I don't. You know, but yeah, let me know what team you guys think he would be traded to and what you guys think EDC will cook up to get in return. I'm really curious to know. Also, please remember, subscribe, hit the like button and make sure to comment. All right. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>